And Harry, just less than one month before his wedding in December, he asked us to take him to see a doctor. And he said he has depression. We never have a dad in our family, so I have no experience. But then we try to call. I, I call in the insurance, our company insurance network. Everybody's booked. Six months down the road. Couldn't find anybody around here. And then we extend into not in the network, even farther away. And two weeks later, we finally find a psychiatrist. So the one thing I observe is that we are really lack a support resource for mental health. I mean, if people, probably some of you also experience that, we are really lack of support. When there's a problem, nobody can help. How dare I want that I can hold Harry now, Hakim? But if you still have a son and daughter with you, do that now today. Don't wait. How do you know your son and daughter tomorrow will still be with you? How do you know, you know your beloved one will be still around you? You don't know. Anything can happen. Have you ever seen from the bottom of your heart say to your son and daughter, I love you? And give them a warm hug and embrace from the bottom of your heart. I know I speak to a lot of Chinese parents. The Chinese parents are kind of more shy. They don't want to express their feelings. But I said, no matter you are Chinese parent, whatever cultural background, do that now. Because they might not be alone with you. <coughs> Hug them. Say, I love you. Today, by the way. So some people said, wow, if we want to fix this problem, we should reduce the pressure. Well, you think you reduce the pressure on Gang High School, you can reduce the pressure on MIT, Stanford, and Berkeley, and Harvard? Can you do that? What about they come after college, they go to the, don't go to the society? Is the pressure less? Do you experience that the pressure around us is increasing or decreasing? Can we change that? So I mean, we do have an enemy. We do have an enemy around us. That's taking life. So the first message I want to tell you, we have to be aware, extremely aware, that we have an enemy at the gate, it's, which is taking lives. If you think this is not, not your business, I was thinking about that until my son was gone. We are all in this together. This is a great city. We have a lot of intelligence. We should do work together, united together, to fight that enemy. I think the most important thing is that feel they are, let them feel they are accepted the way they are, not based on their performance. Unconditional. You know, a lot of kids, they think they have to earn the love from the parents. Because if they don't perform, my dad and mom will, love, will not love me. Because how many times you praise your kids? For what reason you praise your kids? You praise your kids, yeah, good job, good student, you do a good homework, you, you have a good score, you praise them. You know, that's not praising them. That's praising yourself. Because you ask them to do that. Let me tell you what is real praise. Real praise is to praise them the way they are, who they are, not what you want them to be.